<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, a bit more interesting day today compared to yesterday. Uh, uranium did some very good things. We will look at that at the end of the video. I have, I think, five or six great charts to show that maybe we have a turnaround here, maybe, maybe not. But the, this is the best. It has, lo it has been looking for uranium in quite some time. Um, so that I'm very excited about. As you know, uranium is my number one sector to be in for this decade. As always, follow me on Twitter here. You can see my Twitter. Please follow. I would love to get to, to 5K. And then 10K is the next goal. But uh, please follow. Um, I highly appreciate it. So yeah, let's get into the stuff. As you can see, I have uh, 18 charts today that we will briefly go through. Hopefully it will take 10 minutes. That's my goal every day to take 10 minutes. Quickly, just a big overview of the where we are in the gold to silver ratio. We had the COVID highs here in the ratio at 126, uh, insanely high in that ratio. Then dropped all the way down. And ever since we have been in this expanding, uh, first off, we were in this one here, this expanding wedge coming up here. As you know, we have drawn that and, we, and this one here. We, uh, we broke down to this low here, came back to retest, actually popped through, and now we are testing again. This golden trend line coming here from this low all the way across here. Sorry. So we have this low here, this low here, and then we have this low here. So these two right here, excuse me, this support right here, the golden trend line, and then the green support here is the last two supports for me before we continue to really go down in the in this ratio and that's where obviously gold and silver will will pop to new highs where i think um, gold will go to 3k ish uh, before it will make a new stop uh, and and silver depending going to at least 38 37 maybe higher depending on the overshoot so yeah we're still here looking good silver a nothing day i just wanted to show you that actually i didn't notice this but actually we have broken down here this is the 2011 high all the way down we have the connection here as you can see we have it here here and then we have the the fake outs here and the connections all the way across breakout so actually we have broken if you if you don't look at this one if we have we have broken the long-term 10-year um downtrend and then i just made a clone here to this high here just to see how that acts um so for now silver looking awesome but we still need to get above the 26 as you know 26 is my let's go for silver 26 gold a nothing day however i would like to show you something as you know these are the highs right in gold and if you look at the last two times we touched this high we had a three week melt up as you can see one two three big melt up here whoop same here during the uh the, the uh Russia Ukraine Ukrainian crisis we had a big melt up here and this time around it's it's different it's more or less of a slow grind will that have any meanings I don't know but at least we're not melting up in the short term um, meaning that the sellers cannot for now get some control but um, yeah I, it was just something to show you that we are not melting up into the big uh, 2070 so yeah let's see what happens here but we're still in this pitchfork expanding pitchfork uh, i would like to say um so but again today nothing major however talking about major let's have a look at this bad boy here platinum absolutely amazing if you have been, been following my work i said that we did the retest here last friday at 1050 which was a big level to retest we did break below the golden trend line and the dotted uh, three-year weekly close which was not optimal at that point, but we were in a bull flag here, as you can see. And now we have had three big updates here, breaking the bull flag, breaking all resistance all the way up, and now we are here again, above every single you know, trend line that you can see, every single resistance in my view. And now the goal, as you know, is to break the previous high here, the breakout high before we went to the pullback or the, or the retest. So the next level to watch now is around 11, uh, 1,140, let's call it that. That's the next level. But for now, Platinum looks absolutely amazing. Just to, let's just zoom out here. Just look at it. 
if you can see anything for all these uh, doodles here, we just had a you know a very big breakout coming across here, right? It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, platinum, I, I, it's just it looks amazing, guys. It really does. Platinum, a very small sector. No one is looking at it. Amazing. I love it. Next, wanted to show you. I posted this as well. To ah, oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. Let me zoom out. This is whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. This is the uh, the monthly chart. It's gold against money supply, as you can see. We have a we have a high here. I know we have a higher high uh, or a major 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 melt up high here. But anyways, we have a high here, connecting here, and now we're trying to break out here. So just want to show you that gold is really doing its best to to start to break out against uh, M2 money supply. You can't draw it here as well, which you know is. Let me go to this eight eight month uh, six months sorry. As you know, we have the connection high. Oh, Jesus Christ, my mouse is running low on batteries. We have the high here, the high here, and then we have the breakout retest, weak re uh, a weak retest, and now we hopefully resume up here. Looking absolutely good for gold. GDX, GDX, anything specific today? No, not not really. Uh, we have the retest, as you know, rounding bottom retest. Hopefully, we'll do it into a flag or a common handle. That's what I'm looking at right now. Looking for now, very good. Oil today had a good, actually had a great day. Only one percent, but let me show you. We had a. This was, you know, let me zoom out here again. As you know, we have been looking at the green, the green support zone here, at around sixty-three to four-ish in that area. And we did touch that zone, even though the wick is not here. We can we can go to the one hourly and see. We have the wick here. Major rejection all the way up, and then we sat in a. I know it's very very short term, so so don't put that much effort into it. But I would just like to show you the techniques the techniques that that I use. We have we went to went into a bull flag here, very tiny breakout, nice. Now we're sitting at the top here, so hopefully it's not a double top. But anyways, for now looking very good. I love it. But overall, still in the downtrend. Uh, I, I need to get it back above the 82, as you know. And we still have the one, the 200 DMA coming down here as well. So still in a downtrend. There's no way around it. Oil is in a downtrend. Is in a downtrend. Nat gas we will skip. UEC, however, oh, I love it. As you know, yesterday, if you saw the video, I mentioned this gold trend line, the low one here. As you can see, the COVID lows, have the, the 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 touch here, and then we have this bad boy over here where we broke out of the started channel yesterday. We pulled back a bit after we did the retest, as you can see. We retested, pulled back a bit, and then I said, you know, there are two options, as you know. We break through and then uh, get some short covering, or we will get the retest and then resume down again. And I said that I don't think that this is the end for the for this move here, given that we were in such a long trend here or such a long a bullish trend, trend right here. So. Today, absolutely amazing. We are above the golden trend line, the lower golden trend line within the uptrend again. And we want to stay here, as you know. We really, really want to stay here. And then at some point, resume higher. But for now, it's very good baby steps, but it's 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 some signs that we maybe have a, something good in, in the future for uranium. But still, very early, so don't... Oh yes, as you know, the URA divided by the uranium spot price. As you know, we broke out, and I wanted to see some candles coming up here. And this is exactly, I draw the candle here, right? It's the exact, it is the exact candle that we got. URA is about to outperform spot again, and uh, if that really gets some traction, that's is going to be one hell of a run. Where if we can get the full retrace to the blue neckline here, let's say we do. Right, a full retrace all the way up here in some way, then we have roughly 80% outperformance of URA against the uranium spot price. And I think in this time as well, the spot price will go up. If this happens, I mean, that's uh, wow, I can't wait, but let's see. Still an overall macro inverted head and shoulders for this ratio. And uh, yeah, looking, looking very fine given today's breakout, but we need some more but still, it's a start. URA, quickly zoom out just for, for the new guys. The, 
the golden trend line coming down here, false breakout, as you know. And I said, if we can negate this bearish pennant here to the upside and get about the the, the purple zone, I think we will test this one right here, the golden trend line. And that's where it's going to happen if it is. Because if we can break out now here, that would be absolutely amazing. So let's hope we get a that we get a breakout, retest, and then hopefully resumption. I mean, this is uh, the apex is coming up, right? We don't have a lot of room left, so this could be it. And let me show you if we pull, if we put on the Bollinger Band here, we have Bollinger Band expansion on the daily. Very good, very very good. So hopefully we'll get a few more days with uh, with uh, with some momentum here, where we can really get this Bollinger expansion um like this and then we just climb up hopefully but let's see but uh, but an awesome day overall insanely good day i wanted to show you a ura divided by uh, what is it called overall commodities i guess it's called the trb uh, T uh, trj and we are breaking out as you can see here this was my formation for a long time like this it's a bit skewed but anyways it's still valid um so hopefully we are breaking out and hopefully we will, we will not get a third touch to the to the lower side here of this golden trend line here but anyways a breakout against overall commodities for ura awesome and look at this bad boy here ura against xle amazing we are breaking out here i still want to get above this high right here do, 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 do. there it is as you know then we have a high high Higher low, higher high, uh, but for now we are breaking out against all the the longer resistances, as you can see here, coming across. If we just align them a bit better, we had a big big squeeze coming down, and we are breaking out. So let's get above the zero two seven something, and then we are good to go, man. Still here, also looking mighty fine. False breakdown, back into the squeeze. You can see here the squeeze coming across here. We are back in. Shorts are getting trapped below. Again, uranium. The uranium sector is taking some baby steps, but still very important steps to stop the the bull market again, or to resume up from the bull market. Looking really good here. Let's hope we don't get a as, as always get a false to the downside, but we keep going up here. Uh, but these five ETFs or ratios we, we will look at, I think. Until we get a, a a direction, if it's just a, a short-term momentum or long-term, we will look at it every day. Last but not least, look at this one here. As you know, URA against the tech sector, against um, NASDAQ. Let's zoom in here to the daily, to the daily. As you all know, when we were around here, I started to say, this is a, to me, an inverted head and shoulders. And for now, it was just exactly that. As you can see, this is my what I drew here. And now we're breaking to the upside. So URA right now to me, this is the target here for the inverted head and shoulders up here. But I do think we'll go all the way up to the retest, as you know, of the golden lower trend line here coming all the way across. I would, would be very surprised if we don't get a retest here and then we will see what happens. Uh, but this is the big one. So yeah, that's all I had for today. I think, as mentioned, an insanely good day for you, uranium. Platinum looking insanely good. Gold and silver still holding very good, as you can see, up uh, half a percent more or less. Um, so, yeah, all good for now. But let's see how, uh, how it unfolds for the remaining of the week. Have an awesome day, guys. And as always, like and subscribe. Comment below what you like, what you don't like, what you need to change, whatever. I, I try to, I will comment on any comments that you will I will re reply to any comments that you will uh, put below and uh, have an amazing evening and see ya